Hey guys, lately I've been thinking about the ultimate gaming experience and the lack thereof until I stumbled across LaunchBox. Imagine what Netflix did for movies and TV shows, but for gaming, a front end content management system allowing you to store and access your games with ease, displaying all the right details without having to change cartridges, discs, or consoles, etc. How it works is LaunchBox will pull game details and launch games for any ROMs and emulators you have stored and installed on your PC. So for example, if you download RetroArch, another amazing piece of software that has its own series of emulators, you can then use those emulators to play games ranging from Sega Genesis or NES to N64, Dreamcast, and GameCube consoles, playing and browsing through them via the LaunchBox front end. It doesn't stop there though. Whatever emulators RetroArch doesn't have, you can set up separately as well, such as Xenia for Xbox 360 and Ryujinx or Yuzu for the Nintendo Switch. Each console category present in LaunchBox can default to a particular emulator, making it easy to launch games. There is also an upgraded version of LaunchBox with a few additional features, such as controller automation, custom themes for browsing, etc., called BigBox. However, it requires payment. I think what really excites me about this software is that once you've set everything up, you've got all the previous generation games at your fingertips. There are some drawbacks though, as new emulators are not always optimized or fully functional. You may run into some issues such as your game crashing on a particular save or with more players connected or some games not starting at all. But it's important to note that the instability of emulators is something that is constantly being worked on and will get better over time. Also, LaunchBox is just a front end. So it has to manually start each emulator and the corresponding game on its own. So sometimes you need to adjust emulator settings on boot to ensure controllers are connected, etc. As well as closing emulators out when switching consoles, which doesn't make the experience seamless, but it's a small price to pay for free software that gives you access to such a vast array of titles for zero cost. I think supporting LaunchBox, which I have by buying the Forever Updates license, and RetroArch, which I donate a small amount to monthly via their Patreon, along with other emulator developers, is great for the long term and will hopefully get all us gamers to the point where we can seamlessly boot up a one-stop shop and play all the classics along with some of the more recent gems to hit the shelves over the past few years. As Netflix gaming unfortunately isn't a thing, but even if it does come one day, LaunchBox and BigBox, along with RetroArch, will be big competitors and, dare I say it, better options providing you with free, full game access for life. As a final note, I just want to mention that I am not affiliated with LaunchBox or RetroArch in any way. I'm just a fan of their software and appreciate the communities involved as a whole and wanted to share for those who might not know and would like to enhance their gaming setup. What do you guys think about this software and its potential? Leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you do decide to download any of the software mentioned in this video and have questions, feel free to ask them in the comments as well. Catch you guys next time.